Well, you, you know, we started this Audio Alley uh, segment a few weeks ago, and I just continue to get just scores of emails, and I love them all. And they're, now they're becoming uh, questions. Uh, let's see what I get here today. Uh, and we're going to get around to all of them. I got a really nice one uh, that uh, they want me to uh, to talk about plosives and using microphones and all of that. And we're going to do that. Uh, but uh, in so don't miss each week. We're going to take care of these requests. But I got a request that went to the top of the list, and it's a guy that got his license. Um, he got a transmitter. I think it came from his grandfather. And he doesn't know how to tune it, and he's afraid to get on the air. Now, this is really sad because when we, when we have classes and we teach each of us how to get your license, there's a huge step that is kind of missing today uh, in the days that Don and George and Gordon and maybe you, Valerie, we had an Elmer, what we call an Elmer, a teacher that would come and help us and show us. That's missing today in a lot of cases because today they give you a handy talkie and stick you out in the crowd. Uh, no, there's a lot more to it. And um, so what we're going to do is I took, a, this was a lot of work. I took out the 7600, I took out the 7800, had to pull all that out of here, and I put down another one of my uh, ICO rigs. By the way, I told you last week it was coming. Well, it's here. If you didn't get your electric radio today, you will. If you're not subscribed to it, please do, because uh, uh, the article is in there, and uh, I wrote an article on how to put push to talk uh, in these ICOs or any other kind of radio that had a f rotary switch. But anyway, I had to put all, it was, it took me all day yesterday, but it's worth it. Now, what we're going to do, and we're going to do it the way I did it in 1956, and sometimes I still do, um, I use a, a light bulb. This is a 60 watt light bulb. And uh, here we go. We're going to show you what's going on. I'm going to have to switch all of the cameras and uh, make this work first. I want to make sure. Yeah, that's okay. All right. This is um, an ICO. It's a little 60-watt novice transmitter. And um, this transmitter, there we go. This transmitter has a 6146 tube in it. And here's what we have to do to get all this going. First of all, we have an outboard VFO. This is a separate box that adjusts the frequency. And um, since we're not hooked up to the outside, why uh, we can dial it in on a receiver. I've got it on 3885. But that plugs into the transmitter. And I even made a drawing here for you, my uh, wonderful little uh, eighth grade drawings. But I think you can make uh, heads or tails of them. That VFO goes into the transmitter in the back with an RCA cable. And it feeds the oscillator. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put this in a tune position, put this, the meter switch in the grid. And we have to then tune the grid. That's the grid of the driver tube. And we do that. And watch the meter, going to do it for maximum. And then we do the drive. And we can get, there's five mils, but we only want about three mils. You look up what the, what the tube that you're using, and usually in 6146, 6146, and most tubes, it'll be uh, two to four mils. And we have the, the grid drive set. Now what we're going to do is... Take this meter switch down to the plate. And what's going to happen now, and be, now listen to this one. you got to be really careful. When you uh, put this into the transmit, have your hand on the plate tuning. That's the plate tuning of the final amplifier because it's going to draw very much excessive current. You might even be able to hear the power supply. It buzzes. The transformer physically buzzes for just a second. And if you leave it like that, drawing a lot of current, you will probably wipe out the power supply, wipe out the final tube. You definitely will blow a fuse. 
So what we're going to do is when we go into final, we have the grid drive. That's all set. When we go into transmit, you're going to dip the plate. And what we mean by dipping the plate is minimum current of the final amplifier. This is a capacitor that's tuning the plates of that final. And we're going to dip that a minimum current the minute we turn it on. And you'll see it, maybe hear it. Here we go. And we want to dip it. They're on about 40 mils. Now, the antenna comes in through this capacitor. And we're going to load it. But what you do is you load just a little bit, little bit. Now dip it. And you'll notice when I dip it, then it gets the brightest. We're going to put a little bit more to the antenna. And we have to dip that and continue. Load up another 10 or 20 mils and dip it. And keep going. Load up a little bit more. Minimum. Dip it. We want to get up to... Uh, the meter even tells you a limit here. We're going to get up to about 120 mils and dip it. Go back and check the grid after you've done all this because it might not have stayed and it didn't. So we're going to bring it up about three. And that's okay. I mean, anywhere from two and a half to four. But I like to stay uh, within the specs about three mils. Go back and check that. We're doing 120 mils. You always want to check to make sure that it's minimum plate current. Because if you let it get excessive plate current, number one, you're going to lose your output, but you're going to blow your finals eventually. If I left that up there at any time, why we would have problems. And, and again, we, we've got a VFO, set it to frequency we need, have the oscillator, and we tune the grid of the driver and then we set the drive for it and then tune the plate. Now, one thing I forgot to say in the beginning is we're going to set the band switch. <laughs> we're going to put it on the band we want. So the VFO is on there. Like a dummy, I should have told you that. But uh, we're setting on uh, 80 meters, 75 meters. And uh, that band switch actually selects the taps on the coil that feeds the antenna and, of course, that the final. That's all resonant. The final plate, capacitor, the coil, and the antenna. That all has to be resonant. And that's how we do it. That's how you tune up a tube transmitter. And it, 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 it's, you know, people ask me a lot, why are you hanging around on all that AM junk? You know what? I do it because it's fun. We don't have to do this. All of the new stuff today, we simply uh, <laughs> let, let it be. Uh, the, uh, the circuits today, uh, they just work. And um, get this thing all squared back here. Uh, it's just more fun to do that. Uh, at least it is for me. And I've been doing it for 60 years. Yes, I enjoy the new stuff today, but... Uh, it's, it's just kind of fun to uh, play with this old stuff, all the stuff you see me behind me. That's all tube stuff. Most of it's been with me for 50, 60 years, and it's just fun to do all of that. 